So you're having a relaxing bubble bath when you suddenly notice your fingers aging at a rapid pace. Of course, they're not aging, they're pruning. But why do they always do this? Before you start thinking loud, make sure you watch this video to the end to find out the real reason why your fingers get wrinkly in water and for bonus tips on how to get rid of those old wrinkles. And don't forget to hit the red button below this video to subscribe and the bell button to get notified of our new videos. Ready? Let's get into the pool. Pruning by itself is generally harmless and goes away on its own. Extended pruning or pruning that doesn't occur as a result of water, however, can be a symptom of an underlying medical issue. But why does it happen in the first place? Why do our fingers and toes wrinkle up like prunes when we've been in the water for a while? Maybe you've heard that it's because of water passing into the outer layers of skin, making it swell like prunes. But it turns out that that explanation is all wet. Here are the real reasons. Sebum. Even though you can't see it, your skin is covered with this special oil called sebum. Sebum is found on the outermost layer of the skin. The sebum moistens or lubricates and protects your skin. It also makes your skin a bit waterproof. That's why water runs off your skin when you wash your hands, instead of soaking it in as a sponge would. But staying in water for a long time washes away the sebum, causing your skin to become waterlogged and wrinkled. Blood vessels. Pruny fingers occur when the nervous system sends a message to the blood vessels to become narrower. The narrowed blood vessels reduce the volume of the fingertips slightly, causing loose folds of skin that form wrinkles. Scientists figured this out by observing that the skin of people with nerve damage did not prune up when exposed to water. Glabrous skin. The skin on human fingers and toes are known as glabrous, meaning it's smooth and hairless. When it's been in contact with water for a long time, the glabrous skin on the fingers can look like a prune. Dehydration. Dehydration can affect the skin, making it feel dry and cold. The skin on the fingertips may look shriveled. Similarly, if a person gently pinches the skin on the back of their hand, then it may not spring back as quickly as usual. Older adults, children and babies have a higher risk of dehydration than other groups. People may be at more risk of dehydration in hot weather, if they are unwell or if they've been exercising. Other symptoms of dehydration include dry mouth and lips, headache and not peeing as much as usual. Getting rid of wrinkling. So, you made it to the end of the video. Right, now here are some bonus tips for getting rid of wrinkling. So what should you do if this happens to you? Nothing. Wrinkling goes away quickly on its own and you'll have more sebum on your skin in no time. However, if a person has pruny or wrinkly fingers without having been in water, but does not have any other noticeable symptoms, they may be mildly dehydrated. Anyone experiencing dehydration should drink more water. Eating foods with high liquid content can also help dehydration. Also, you may choose to wear rubber gloves to do the dishes or avoid spending a long time immersed in warm water if you find pruny fingers bothersome. And that's it on the list. But just before we go, here's a quick recap. The skin on the fingers can become wrinkly or pruny when soaked in water. Wrinkling goes away quickly on its own and you'll have more sebum on your skin in no time. If wrinkly fingers happen without being submerged in water, it could be a sign of a medical problem. Have you learned something new in this video? Give it a like, share and subscribe for more interesting videos from Brilliance. And if you want to take this further, here are some other interesting videos from Brilliance. Top 10 Richest YouTubers Why Some Art Is So Expensive and Highest Paid Athletes From Each Sport Finally, the five richest criminals of all time.